Hello, everyone. My name is Bryce Good. Joining me today is Catherine Alberg and Joseph Morris. We are Team Iradion. This is our project OptoCheck, which is focused on the automated optical inspection of laser components. For our project, we are focused on aligning the mirrors within the laser cavity. So inside of the laser, in the active medium, energy is built up and it is bounced back and forth between the rear mirror and the front mirror until it is output through a window in the front mirror assembly here as a laser beam. This is what a laser looks like in the end with this being the mirror assembly on the end there. And so in the laser, if these mirrors are not perfectly aligned, then the laser will not perform optimally. So for our project, we are trying to make sure that they're aligned properly so that it will not cost Iradion any money by faulty products. Our anticipated best outcome would be to purchase a measurement machine and we would like to make a tabletop inspection station with it. This inspection station should be able to take an image of the mirror mount assembly. It should be able to take measurements from that, compare it to the expected results, and then give a pass or fail on whether that part is ready for work or not. This is a picture we found online. This is not technology that we currently have or that Aradion currently has, but this is something that we expect that our final product will look like with some kind of moving stage that has a camera that can move it back and forth so that we may take different pictures of the assembly and get accurate results. As you may or may not know, laser technology is vastly growing with applications anywhere from metal engraving to gene de-stressing. With this growing demand and growing market, Aradion needs to be able to keep up with the demand and they need to be able to get lasers out there quickly and affordably. And with our project, it would be able to ensure that they can do it as fastly as possible and make sure that they are not wasting any parts in the process or time. Next, Catherine will speak about our key accomplishments so far. Our initial approach to this project was to use a 3D scanner to capture the measurements that we needed. Uh, over the course of the semester, we did extensive research into different 3D scanning techniques, as well as some research into coordinate measuring machine technology. We also held several demos, both in person and demos where we sent the part out to a company to be scanned. Due to the results of these demos, we were able to determine which opti optical measurement tool we will be using for the remainder of our project. In addition, we have a functioning graphical user interface for the final product. One of the most important questions we had to ask ourselves in 3D scanning companies is, can the mirror subassembly be scanned? In order to answer this, a demo is required due to the different uh, functionalities and quality of each 3D scanner. The overall general qualities of an of a object that can be scanned is that it's rather large, and it doesn't have any surfaces that are transparent, reflective, or dark in color although this can be remediated by putting a spray or powder on the surfaces that have these qualities. So therefore, car parts are the general application for 3D scanning. On the other hand, our mirror subassembly is small and it houses a mirror, therefore it has a reflective surface. Another thing about this mirror subassembly is that we cannot touch the mirror by any means. There's gonna be laser beams ba bouncing back and forth on these mir mirrored surfaces Therefore, it must remain pristine throughout the entire inspection process. Most of the 3D scanning companies that we have contacted have told us that their scanners would be incapable of scanning the part without using a sprayer spray powder. However, we did have two successful demos, one with Ferro Technologies with their blue light laser arm scanner and a CMM from Hexagon. Both were able to capture the mirror subassembly and we were able to provide measurements that were very close to the expected values. However, both were out of our budget and were too oversized for our tabletop inspection station. Due to the results of these demos, we have concluded that we need to reconsider our approach to this project. Our new approach is to use a camera system to take magnified images of the top view or the side that has the mirror of the mirror subassembly uh, weave these images together and analyze the woven picture. Camera systems are much more affordable and we already have a camera and lens in mind for our project. We chose this camera due to its high processing capabilities and it is compatible with Arduino, which opens the possibility of automating the capturing process. We chose the lens 
due to its reasonable working distance of 100 millimeters and the fact that it will give us a field of view of 17 millimeters by 14 millimeters. This is smaller than the top surface of the mirror subassembly, which is what we're looking for. Uh, now, Joseph will talk about the software aspects of OptoCheck. Here we have our extremely high level flow diagram of our assembly. First, we will begin the scan using a camera system, which will then export vital measurements such as position, roll, pitch, and yaw into a CSV file. These measurements will then be imported into our GUI automatically, where calculations will be made based off of given thresholds and to see if the measured values fall within those thresholds. If they do, the user will be informed of pass. If they fall outside, they will be informed of fail. <coughs> Upon opening our graphical user interface, the user will be prompted to select the mirror type. They have the option between infinity, Z-Box, and front. For this example, we will be dealing with the front mirror specifically. After clicking the scan button, measurements are imported into the GUI from the CSV file where they then compared to the expected values in a very user-friendly format. If these values fall within these thresholds, the user is informed of pass. If they fall outside of these thresholds, the user is informed of fail. We have a couple remaining technical challenges to achieve our anticipated best outcome. One includes building and assembling our inspection station. This includes integrating all of our moving parts that we have together so we have something that will look something similar to what we have here that Bryce spoke about earlier. We also need to write Arduino code if we have to move a linear stage to get all the necessary measurements needed from our submirror assembly as seen here. We also want to develop image processing code from MATLAB script. From this MATLAB script, we want to collect the data and export it into a CSV file, which will then be imported back into our GUI. And if time permits, we would also like to analyze other mirror subassemblies as well, such as the Z-Box and in Infinity mirrors. We would like to acknowledge and thank the following people for their continued support. <laughs>